Hey, it's Josh. Welcome back. I've got this uh, Gizmo, G-I-I-S-S-M-O, 13-in-1 USB-C docking station. This is model DK009, and this thing's pretty impressive. I started to take it out of the packaging the other day. I was going to try it out before I did the video, and as I started to open it, I thought, you know, this deserves a unboxing uh, video as well. So, haven't had a chance to use it. We're going to plug it in, try it out here in a second. Uh, all the specs look really good, but what was really most impressive to me is the packaging. So, uh, for those of us who have who have gotten into different products like Apple and things like that, the packaging and the and the unboxing has become part of the experience. And this has a really nice set of packaging as well. So, um, there is a bit of a uh, uh, unboxing experience here. So we take this off. We have uh, additional things to unwrap here. And uh, this looks like the docking station itself here. So this has all of the different ports on it. And um, I was just looking at those. We'll go through those in a second here. Let's see what's else. what else is in the box here. So we got that piece out. Another section here. I believe this is the power adapter that powers this thing. So let's see here. And it is. All right. So pretty nice uh, set of packaging here. We have a power adapter and we have a USB-C to USB-C uh, cable as well. And so, I believe the way that this is going to work here, I'm going to try to go through all the different ports on here, but basically this could replace my Mac uh, charging block and so become a really nice uh, set up here for my Mac and I travel back and forth between the cabin and my house with the Mac uh, This thing has a gigabit Ethernet. It has a two 4k HDMI ports uh, One is 60 Hertz and one is 30 Hertz. I want to say um, There is a display port on a Windows computer. This will do uh, Dual displays so you can have two different displays doing two different things on a Mac, all it will allow you to do is do a mirroring. So it's the same thing on two different displays. Um, reasons for that, uh, you know, there are reasons you might want to do that. There are a whole host of uh, USB 3.0, 2.0, 2.0. On this side, you got your, your uh, micro SD and your SD or your TF slot and your SD. You have a uh, USB 3.0, 3.0, USB-C. Uh, 3.0 on the end is a uh, another USB-C so one of these is for data and one of them is a power charging port so I'm guessing the one on the end is going to be the, the power uh, power port there's a headphone jack here there's power a power switch there so let's hook it up on the Mac and uh, and see how it, how it uh, does, but the form factor is is really quite nice here. So I do I do like that, and I do like the simplicity of it. Um, so it'll be a nice thing for us to have here at the cabin. It does a lot of things that uh, you know everything's here and ready to go. I may take it home. I may use it with the the new high speed um, fiber that we have at home. So we'll tr we'll check it out. Let's see what it looks like on the computer. Okay, so I got everything hooked up. A couple things that I figured out. Uh, one is there's a display link driver that you have to download to enable the uh, dual screens. And I might have said earlier that you couldn't have anything but mirroring on a uh, Mac, and that's not true. Uh, you can do an extended desktop, and I want to say I haven't proven it out yet, but based on the information, this display link will allow you to do two monitors. Uh, so you need to use uh, either the HDMI 1 or the DisplayPort or the, and the HDMI 2. 
Uh, you can't use the one and the display port at the same time. Um, but that should work on both the Mac and the PC from what I'm reading. And I, you actually have to go in and launch that, uh, that driver application to allow the desktop to work. I think I also said earlier that uh, you could use this to charge your laptop and according to the information I read that's not true either. Um, although when I plug it in I was getting power to my laptop I don't know if the battery was charging or what was going on there so um, I'm just going to stick with what I read there and just you know so far if I want to take a uh, another uh, application or something to open it I can drag it over here and uh, should be able to do it on another one so so far so good uh, it's got a lot of great features and functionality a lot of high speed capabilities that uh, you normally don't get off of an extra uh, uh, USB-C port so this has a lot of capabilities my laptop here has the M1 Max and uh, this does allow us to do um, more with fewer ports so pretty cool and I'm excited to continue to use it and uh, we'll do a, a update down the road here after I've had more experience with it thanks a lot for watching have a great day we'll see you next time